Hello, I'm Joshua Montgomery, the CEO. For the last six months, I've had one of these AIY kits sitting in my garage, uh, waiting for me to find some time to look at it. And today I finally uh, did get some time. For those of you who don't know what an AIY kit is, it's a kit that was originally shipped with Magpie Magazine, is now available from a number of different vendors that adds a voice hat to a Raspberry Pi along with a speaker and an array uh, that allows you to basically use it like a voice assistant. Um, the original technology was developed by Google and it has a button on top of it instead of wake word recognition. So in order to use it, you, you press the button and then give it a command and, and it, it activates the, the Google Assistant. Well, since it's based on Raspberry Pi, it's always been our thesis that our stack would run on it just fine. And, and just before Christmas, one of our community members, T-Jone, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, published a image that allows you to simply flash our stack right onto this device and immediately right out of the box make it work just like a Mark I device and, uh, or a, a Mark II device or, or any Linux device really. And so today I put all that together and took some time to, to make it work. And this is the result. Uh, this is an AIY box that's that's running our stack. Uh, you know, I put a logo on the button as well. It's got the array right here, and it works just the same way as, as any other voice-activated device, but of course it works for $24.99 for the kit as opposed to $179 for the Mark I, uh, which of course makes it much more affordable and accessible for our, our open source community. Uh, there's actually vendors out there, and I'll put a link below, that are running promos where you can actually pick up a AIY kit and a Raspberry Pi 3 for $35. Uh, usually a Pi 3 costs $35 all by itself, so the addition of the AIY kit adds a lot of value. And you know all you have to do to make that work is add a little CF chip, like an 8 gig CF chip, and a, a USB plug, and away you go. You've got a, a complete working voice assistant. So. Um, let's go ahead and, and give this a shot and, and see what happens. Hey, Mycroft, how tall was Abraham Lincoln? Six, four. There you go. A little bit longer on the query than I would uh, normally assume. Uh, but not a bad little piece of technology all in all, kind of an exciting way for folks to get involved in the community and to contribute back uh, to making this a great technology for everyone. Really the, the difference between our technology and technologies that are coming from some of the other vendors really have to do with concepts like privacy and advertising and user agency. You know, here at our company, the whole goal is to democratize this technology, to give users control of their data, and of course, as a company that's focusing on voice assistance and not trying to sell you other products or, or be, be a giant in search or, or some other line of business, you know, we're really focused on providing the best user agent uh, for the community and not on, on other ancillary focuses. So. If you have a chance to pick one of these up, like I said, I'll, I'll provide a, a link uh, below and, and feel free to pick one up. It's a, it's a great way to get involved in the community and it's inexpensive and I'm really excited to see this working today. Hey, Mycroft, thank you. My pleasure.